Hi, today we're going to talk about fire ceremonies and in particular micro fire ceremonies, ones that we can do in our homes and in our apartments. Um, fire ceremonies don't necessarily need to be the big ones outdoors where you have 20 or 30 or 40 people around. Uh, for us here in Mallorca, we can't do any over the summer months because we have a, a total fire ban in place. Um, so we get to do them inside and we can get them inside with our friends and our families um, and the, the numbers can be a lot smaller than they are outside. Now fire and fire ceremonies allow us for rapid transformation. Now it provides a, the avenue to honour your lessons and old belief structures by turning them over to spirit, you know, thus enabling you to, to heal deeply at the level of the soul without having to experience them. Although there are, there are many that we are experiencing and we do live through, some of these things that keep us awake at night, <clears throat> and things that, that are happening with maybe ex-partners or with business and things that, we, that are frustrating, this is where the fire ceremony really comes in handy. Now, the fire ceremony is one of the core rituals in many medicine traditions. It's typically held around the fall or new moon of each month when the veils between the worlds are the thinnest. In the past, it was done in the presence of a teacher for many years, but then, you know, before the student was encouraged to do it alone. But now the shamans say the earth and our civilization is in such great peril that the fire ceremony can be held by anyone who is willing to step in. And I've noticed myself that the fire itself becomes your teacher. And I'll let you know immediately if your intention is pure. When we're doing the fire ceremonies outside, it's a lot uh, different. I am honouring um, the, uh, the different circles, um, the different directions in heaven and earth, which I do before these ceremonies. And uh, I'm also opening the Wurukocha, our eighth energy field, our eighth chakra, which we'll be doing before we, we start this ceremony. But uh, when we're doing it outside, before we enter the fire circle, we, uh, we can create an offering out of burnable materials, you know, typically a, a small stick. And we'll be using a small stick like this one here. This is what we call a spirit arrow, or it could be a death arrow, but that that is no longer of use to us anymore, we, we let go of. And this can represent something that needs to be honoured in order for you to let go of it. The offering serves to, to focus our attention in active meditation. Now you can have a stick and for the outdoor ones, you can decorate it, or you can leave it as it is. Now if twigs are not really available, you know, the, this one here was from, a, from our local Asian supermarket. It's a wooden craft stick, it's, um, and you can buy them in a bundle for, a, well here, a couple of euros, and you get a lot. And, um, you can use those. This is the stick um, from the crafty area. Don't get the uh, the bamboo ones from um, from the food section because they don't burn so well and they and they have a quite a uh, not the nicest aroma either. So this is from the craft section, and you can get them if not finding a stick outside. Now, when you're working with these, you know you're looking for words or phrases. Um, the issue to, to be honoured or released. And a lot of people, if they have the biggest stick, they actually write them on the stick or write them on a, a bit of paper and wrap it around the stick. And then that will be, be honoured by, by giving to the fire. Now, connected with, with what you're honouring, uh, you know, the gifts that you've received from these lessons and what you're envisioning you know, into being. We all have our lessons, and some of the lessons are, are, are not... Uh, very easy and I can I can tell you you know there's a few times some of the lessons there have been pretty hard but what we're going to do is we're going to use our breath we're going to use our breath we're going to blow this intention or our prayer into the offering several times we're going to do this in a moment ideally as I said you now we like to do it outdoors where we connect more deeper to the earth we have the star energies and the timelessness of the location it's nice to do it 
uh, when we do do them on a full moon or a new moon and the moon is coming through and it's, it's just a, it just makes a beautiful evening. Um, initially we you know, do it at night and then you can notice the subtle changes and, and learn from the fire. But as I said, we can also do this as a micro fire ceremony indoors with the candle that we have in front. And this is perfectly acceptable as well. You know, the fire ceremony allows us to source from our, our soul and to re-remember how we have sat around sacred fires throughout time. Whenever you feel blocked or are working on what you want to dream into your life, fire is an incredible tool to help you change and shift. My family, we love to participate in the fire ceremonies. And if something's going on at school or with work, um, they'll come to you and say, well, let's have a fire ceremony tonight. I say, okay, all right, and we do. And every time, every time it's released, it's let go, and then we can sleep better. So, you know, these could be the personal things that are going on in their lives. It could be the business. It could be anything to do with the health or well-being or communication with, with friends and family. And we can invite our, our friends and families to your fire ceremonies. And they can be the, the micro one. And we can do it here and share nice healthy food. And what we do with the bigger ones that we hold is we bring herbal teas or drinks and some, some nice um, cookies or cakes to share afterwards and sit around a fire. It is absolutely beautiful. And uh, when we allow it again, I will ask our hosts if they'll be willing to, to, to host us again and to, to video it and to share it with you. It really is a beautiful experience. So we can do these anytime. We can hold you know, monthly, new moon, full moons. We can even invite some of our, our own community around to share and do this. And, uh, and that's magical as well. And then people start to get a feeling because it's an old limbic brain that, that really only changes through ceremony. And I'll be talking and working with this more as we go along. Now, you know, while the, the steps are simple, always bear in mind that we are, we are creating a ceremony. And although I have my ceremonial um, scarf on here, I don't have it on when we're working with a family, but if I'm outdoors, then I have my full, um, full scarf and I have other dress as well that I wear from time to time uh, for the ceremonies because of, of the importance that I feel, the sacredness uh, that's for me and for friends around. And we're at this time of tremendous change and our, our souls long for ceremony. We love to be around the fire. And as you work with the, the fire as a ceremony, you develop your own unique rituals around that. And it is very special. Very, very special. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by um, <clears throat> opening our, our eighth chakra, our eighth energy field of what we call our world culture. And those who have been following me on the meditations will, will know that we do this and how we do it. So first off, we just close our eyes. We can bring our hands in front of our chest. The sacred position where all our energy Centers are aligned and in alignment. And on our next in-breath, bringing our hands up into this eighth energy field, separating our hands and this golden orb of light, this golden sun, bringing it all around us there now. All around, we can spread that even more around ourselves. And then when we're with other people, when we're with other people, we can bring our hands together, open up the world culture again and spread it out over you and over the people, your friends, family that are gathered in this time. Ah, oh, and feel that sacredness, feel that, the calmness of being inside this sacred space. Feels good. Now, let's take the stick. We can hold it in our hand and think of those thoughts or feelings or emotions that you like to release. And then blow them into the stick. And 
Yeah, it looks like a, I like to turn around just a little bit before I do the next one. Thinking clearly of what you want to release. Okay, and again for the next one. Can be five, six, even up to seven. Things that you want to release. blow on with the intensity that you feel. That's good. If you don't have a stick, you can use a toothpick, a rolled up piece of paper. We can do the ceremony in the evenings or the mornings and whenever you feel like it, sometimes be two, three times a day as you need to. And then we're going to release these thoughts and these feelings to the fire. Always careful with fire, like that's something to catch underneath. Always a different flame, always a different energy as it's being released, as the light that is wrapped around the stick is being released back to the universe. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you. The universe for the lessons that I've learned as I release you as I let you go. Letting go maybe to the healing power of light and love. Oof. You see the little smokes coming out, the little releasements. This is how much it works and how rapid this transformation is. <clears throat> Take your thoughts, feelings, emotions. Little ones breaking up. Oof. Wow. Beautiful. We've lived by ceremony for so long. It's time to start bringing it back in. When it starts to get a little close to your fingers, you can turn it up and let it back burn on itself. release of smoke there, letting it go. <sighs> Just spending a moment, or two, or three, or longer. Being gratitude, saying thank you. <sighs> thank you for my lessons, thank you for letting them go. Thank you for being. You can stay relaxed and meditating for as long as you like. Before we finish, we're going to scoop up this light, this universal light. We're going to first bring it to our belly, to our tummy, to our womb, our area of creation. Bringing that light to us, being filled with light. And now, scooping this light and bringing it to our heart. Full of love, being, understanding. Scooping, bringing this light to our heart. Then scooping, allowing, bringing this light to our, our sixth chakra, our third eye. Our intuition, our knowing, our learning. And then bring in allowing this light to come in, down through your body. In and through your body. This is the same light that you've seen above Jesus, above the Buddha, all religions, all indigenous peoples of the world believe in the light, believe in the chakras and all of this. This is a part of who and what we are fire ceremony. Enjoy. Enjoy the fire ceremony. Enjoy the, the relief and the, 
and the work that we can accomplish this rapid transformation that, that we can have. If we believe in ourselves now and forever and forever for a long time. A long time. Now let's close up a world culture. Let's close up this like a blanket of light bringing it up from you, bringing it up above our heads to this eighth energy field, this world culture, bringing down only what has been the highest good down into our body. And then take that extra down to Pachamama, Mother Earth, Great Mother, to her much needed healing. In closing the folds of our own world culture, the folds of light, bringing it back up, feeling that, that you feel the tingling as you practice this. And again, only for your highest good, bring down this light into your energy centers, your chakras. And again, extra for Pachamama for much needed healing. Aho. Uh -huh.